Hello everyone, my name is uh, Omar Abdelwahab and my poster for today is titled Performance Analysis of Conventional and AI-Based Variant Colors Using Short and Long Reads. So for a quick background, we know that there is a rapid advancements in the genomic technologies nowadays uh, that has been affecting the genomic-based uh, studies. Uh, we have many sequencing technologies. We have Illumina, we have BackBio, we have Oxford Nanopore, we have many, many others. And taking this into consideration, we can see the urging question of the appropriate use of the right variant calling tool with the proper sequencing technology and also with the emergence of AI-based uh, variant calling tools, there has been uh, a pressing need to know uh, uh, comparisons between the AI-based tools versus the conventional ones in terms of uh, efficacy, accuracy, and computational cost. So to do so, we found uh, a benchmark data set from the uh, Genome in a Bottle Consortium, also known as JAB uh, Project. And this project has seven samples, and each one of those sample is sequenced with many sequencing technologies. Uh, in this study, we used Illumina, BackBio HiFi, and Oxford Nanopore data using three of the seven samples, which are HG003 and HG006 and HG007. The reason why we used only those three, because the other four samples might be used, uh, uh, were used for either uh, testing or validation of the AI-based um, variant calling tools that will be used in this study. And we also selected three uh, of the most used conventional variant calling tools, which are BCF tools, GDK, and Platypus, and two AI-based variant callers, which are the variant and DNS scope. And we are going to run each one of, the, of those variant callers against each uh, sample of those uh, three. And we are going to compare the performances uh, of these variant callers by comparing the produced VCF files with the latest JabTooth sets, which is the version 4.2.1 at that time, which had been the latest at that time. And I think it still is uh, the latest. And we're going to compare each VCF with the truth uh, set using a tool named uh, HAPI. And each one of those uh, files, uh, we will uh, report the uh, precision recall and if one is score of the produced uh, variants for accuracy metrics. So as we can see here in the results section, with Illumina data, uh, these are the average of the three samples, we can see that for SNP calling, we can see that the variant had the highest F1 score in both SNP calling and in DELS at the same time. And the reason why I, I'm focusing on F1 score, because it's it takes into consideration both precision and recall. And for BackBio HiFi data, we can see for SNP calling, all the samples had more than 99% accuracy, uh, uh, either in precision recall or F1 score for coral SNPs, which is pretty impressive. Uh, and, but for the indels, we can see the uh, uh, edge or the clear uh, edge of the AI-based uh, tools, which are the variant and DNS scope, because they have much, much higher accuracy over 99%, which is much higher than the conventional ones. We can also notice that there is no column for platypus, which means uh, it's not compatible with uh, long reads, which is back by HiFi data. And for Oxford Nanopore, we can see there is only the variant and BCF tools because they are the only two tools that can handle Oxford Nanopore data uh, out of the out of the five. And we can see that the variant is much better in both SNPs and indels, as BCF tools fail to call any uh, indels from Nanopore data. And for the computational cost for uh, time and memory, we can see that. Uh, Platypus was the fastest uh, using Illumina data, and for BackBio, DNS Scope, and for Oxford Nanopore, it was BCF tools. 
However, in memory consumption, BCF tools prove to be the most memory efficient, irregardless of which sequencing technology we used. So in conclusion, we can see that this study provides best practices for variant calling using AI-based and conventional variant callers with different types of sequencing technologies. And thank you so far. I am Omar Abdel uh, under the supervision of Dr. Davut Torkamani in the Computational Genomics Department at uh, University of Laval in Quebec, Canada. And in here, you can see this is a QR code you can easily scan to uh, uh, go to the preprint for the full details of this study. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me either on LinkedIn or uh, Twitter. I'd like to thank um, our sponsors uh, for this project, especially Genome Canada and uh, Genome Quebec. I'd like to thank uh, IBIS, uh, the Institute of uh, Integrative and Systems Biology and the CREF. And finally, I'd like to thank you, to thank you all for attending this uh, presentation. Thank you.